Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Destiny. I do book things here. Um, it will be a review video. Um, I just recently finished listening to A Lessons in Vengeance by Victoria Lee and I got about 60% through this book and decided I had to have it. So you're getting a haul too because I ordered it off Amazon. I decided I needed <laughs> I needed all the things um we are in my bedroom because it's easier to film in here than it is anywhere else in the house at the moment um so yeah but back to this so a lesson in visions is about I'm trying to remember her main name her mate our main character's name and her name is Felicity Felicity is going back to school she goes to a boarding school um she's going back to school after last year her best friend dies so her best friend alex see i didn't have to check alex so her and uh, her best friend alex dies and she takes the spring semester off to kind of get her head back together and goes back to school that fall so there are three things you should know going into this one we are unsure how Alex dies. Felicity is an unreliable narrator. And there's lesbians. I don't know if I can convince you to read this anymore. Um, it does have something to do with witchcraft because um, I don't want to give too much away though. So it does, witchcraft does play a hand in this where, but it is not supernatural. I will say that out loud. Um, going to this is not a supernatural like it's not a fantasy it's not um supernatural at all um in that fact it is based in real current day um modern day so there's that now if you do not want spoilers you don't want to watch second half of this video because i am going to do spoilers because i need to talk about it all but in the least amount of spoilers i can give for this i honestly love this um i love felicity as our main character i think that the way the plot is done in this is a little a little hard for me to wrap my brain around um it she does spend a lot of time talking and speaking in a way that almost took me out of the story like I said I listened to this I didn't physically read it I do want to back, go back and physically read it and I'll explain why I ended up buying a physical copy here in a minute because there was more than just the fact that I loved it um it's the reason I bought it but she a lot of times like when she her thoughts so of course were from her point of view were from Felicity's point of view her thoughts though don't read like thoughts to me um and I know it's because the she is supposed to be seen as mentally ill and like like she just honestly doesn't remember what's going on but she does and that's what really kind of messed with my head um I think this story would have better been served if we had like a third party narrator telling it um I think the reveals and things would have been a little bit better if we had a third party narrator but Either way, I honestly loved it. Um, I say the plot was the issue, but the plot honestly moves pretty quickly and it's shocking at every turn. Um, a lot of the, like the ending, I could, I wouldn't have guessed when I first went in. So there's a point there. Um, yeah, I am going, I was going to give this I think I'm going to give this five stars. I really want to reread. This is a story that I think I will reread over and over and over again. Um, um, the reason I bought this book was because, let me see if I can show you without it ruining. I don't want any spoilers. Hold on one second. So in the audiobook, it's kind of and the audiobook is like you'll finish a chapter and then there's these quotes out of nowhere and then you start a new chapter and it was really messed with my head like I couldn't figure out how it was so I went ahead and I ordered the book but finished the audiobook before it came in because I, I needed the ending like I needed to know um and it's because there's like quotes 
at the end of some of the chapters and it's not every chapter and it's not it's not every chapter it's just kind of randomly is what took me a minute to find it randomly in here and so the audiobook it doesn't let you know what's going on I don't know does this have it does tell you like chapter three or chapter four or whatever whatever comes next but there's just like random quotes that kind of fit but kind of didn't with the storyline where we're at um so it was really messed with my head like is, was that a quote the first time it happened I was like wait a minute what did I miss where did this random quote come from I mean it had nothing to do with the, the story and so I wanted to see the actual physical copy my library did not have it in physical they only have it in audio so I bought it to see and now it makes sense so if you don't want spoilers this is your time to get out of the video and go read it for yourself but if you have read it or you want the spoilers, stay tuned. Okay? Okay, we're good. Now, I'll give them a second to exit out. Come on. We both know you don't want spoilers. We both know it. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll catch you in my next one. There will be more videos, I promise. Okay, so spoiler-wise. First off, Ellis killing the redhead was a total shock. Like, I understand she's a method writer and, like, she needed to know what it was like, but she for real just murdered her and this is like yeah I killed her and now I framed you for it so if you tell on me I was going to give them all the evidence to prove you did it like that was the biggest shock and I had to re-listen to that like four times and then there is a point I'm gonna anyways there is a point where Felicity just nonchalantly goes yeah, De Alex's death was an accident, not because I cut the line and I killed her. Wait, what? Hold up, hold up. You did what? You murdered her? You just like, what? You what? Huh? And then, and then at the end to find out that she really did murder her, like shoved her off a cliff and then went down, got her body out of said water after she fell in and died and buried her below the dorm the fuck dude fuck and then then she cold butter cold bloodedly murders alice and buries her or and frames her for the redheads who oh, i can't remember the name of i'm so sorry for the redheads murder anyways and then nonchalantly talks about alex's body being buried near the witch that died all those years ago. What? What? Like, I, that's the re, like, I literally, like, what? She, you cold-bloodedly murdered two people and think you're okay. Wait a minute, hold up. I, my brain hurts, but it's so good. It's so good. Like, I won't lie to you, when I sat around, I was just like, huh? Like, what? And then to believe, for her to like play off to everyone that she believes that the, we, like their, their ritual and them playing with the Ouija board caused all this just made it even worse. Because it's like, you know, you did this. This is not some ghost telling you to do this. This is not some ghost you know forcing your hand you were not possessed you willingly knowing what you did did it and then covered up your own murder you knew what you did this was not a ghost you knew what you did i it was so good i bought the book like i'm so happy to have this on my shelves i i love this The only thing I think would have made this better for me is if they found Alex's fucking body. Like, if she murdered Ellis, went to Ellis's funeral, like, Ellis got blamed for the redhead's murder, and then they go to, like, like, you know, three years later or whatever, they go to, because there is, at the end of it, you know, there is that three years later where she has her girlfriend's like I think I'm gonna break up with her because I want to move and like you could just tell how cold heartedly and how much of a psychopath she really is and Ellis's book comes out and she said Ellis puts in there that she did it all for her like I did it all for you Felicity 
what? And then you murdered her. Like, she did all of this for you to show you you're not crazy. And then you just cold-bloodedly mur cold murdered her. And she dedicated the book to you. Anyways. Anyways. Um, the only thing would have been better is if she had read that passage. Had, had Ella say, everything's for you. And then a news article we put in that they found Alex's body. Like, they went to redo Gu Godwin House. Is it Godwin? It is Godwin. Go me. They went to re to uh, rest restore Godwin House, and they find Alex's fucking body. Like, that would have made this even better. Like, she could have made this a whole series um, with what happens next if they had found Alex's body. Just saying. But I, I'm giving this five stars. Like... Guys, I finished it three days ago. I wasn't going to make a review, and I literally can't get it out of my mind. I love this so much. I have not been listening to audiobooks really at all. And so I picked this up on my drive home from seeing a good friend of mine, and it's a two-hour drive home. I was sick of listening to music. I was a little sleepy. So I thought, let me pick this up and see what I think. I loved it I as soon as I picked it up I wasn't gonna put it down it it was the bomb honestly it really really was um I I can't wait I want something else written by her I'm gonna look I haven't looked to see if there is anything else I, that's written by her that I think I would enjoy um but everyone was raving about this and there was a lot of hype for this and I agree with the hype the hype is real. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So also, um, but yeah, that that is all of my thoughts on Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. Um, I always usually add this into my reviews um, because as I've mentioned on here before, my best friend Jessica does not do teenage angst. It's not her thing. Um, it's literally <laughs> one reason to she doesn't read YA very often. Um, this is one that does have a little bit of teenage angst. Not a lot. Um, like I said, our main character is pretty much a psychopath, <laughs> in my opinion. So not a lot of teenage angst in this one. Um, if you... I'm trying to think. If you liked Illuminae for the actual story itself, and you love Aiden as much as we do, you love a homicidal AI, you may really enjoy this one. Um... Because by the end of it, Felicity kind of reminds me of Aiden. Like, she justifies what she has done and realizes it had nothing to do with the supernatural and that she actually did this and is totally okay with what she did. Um, so, if you like that, I think you would like this. Um, if you liked, what is that? These switches don't burn? Is that the one? Yes. Sorry, I had the second one next to me. Uh, these witches don't burn. You would like this. Um, if you liked... My brain's really trying to work. I have read a lot. I've read a lot and forgot a lot of books I've read. I've read. Good, guys, Good Girls Guide to Murder. You would enjoy this. Um, they kind of go in the same vein. Um, there isn't a lot of, of a sense of belief. You have to expend... Ex you don't, there's not a lot of belief that you have to, um, there, there's a word that starts with me, I can't think of what it is. Anyways, there's not a lot of, uh, unbelievable things in this one. Like, there is, it's not like, um, this couldn't really happen in the real world. Like, this really could have happened. Full on, this really could have happened. Like, straight up. Um, I think that's one thing I really did like about it was that this is something that wasn't, is not a disbelievable thing like it could really happen and really be done um so yeah that's my review of lessons and visions by victoria lee i love this so much it is a five star read for me and i can't wait to pick up something else by this author if you like these like these videos and you like to see me ramble uh please subscribe i'd be happy to have you and i'll see you in my next one bye guys